gonna be partying like it's 1984, but in all, yeah, but in all seriousness, let's, uh, let's get right to this. I, I make cuss once, twice, possibly three times, just because I find this idea to be so incredibly, incredibly asinine. Link in the description to the article in question, but apparently the NSA has been using Verizon for the past two months and up until June 21st or July 21st, either one, I'm not going to check it now because I've already started filming this, but basically it allows them to see who calls who. Like, if you're calling someone in the USA, the NSA knows about it, and if you're calling someone outside of the United States, they know about it. No, you're not living in 1984. No, the thought police aren't banging on your door right now. No, no, no. Big Brother's not standing over you looking down at you and saying, and just basically saying that, you know, you're going to do what he wants. No, no, no. This is still the United States. The thing is, is that you need to say something about this. Because I can guarantee you right now, to anybody who's defending this right now, who says, well, they weren't actually listening in on our conversations, they were just seeing who we were calling. Look, listen, that is messed up in its own right, because the government should not be able to tell who the freak we are calling and where we're calling them. That's our business who we're talking to. You might have friends in France you might want to talk to, and the government has no right to see if you're talking to them. You might have friends in Libya, friends in frickin' Siberia and Berlin, Tokyo, they have no right to see who you're talking to. That's your business. That's your privacy. See, it's like, okay, imagine, imagine this. You, you are living with, you have just gotten a new roommate and stuff. You've got, you, he's got his own room and stuff, you're living in your own room. And he, and every single time you try, every, and you tell him, quite frank, quite, you tell him, right to his face, dude, I don't want you in my room, okay? I just really don't want you in there. And they're like, oh, okay. And then every single time you leave the house and you come back, say he works a little earlier before you do and he gets home right before you do, you always see him trying to get in your room. Like, no, dude, don't go in my freaking room. He's like, oh, okay, but he's got his little foot in the door. That's what the government's doing. That is exactly what the government's doing. They've got that tiny little foot in there, and if you let them, they're going to go all the way in. They're just going to be like, oh, hi, yeah, we're going to monitor all your conversations from now on. And, oh, you... You're saying you're having a private conversation. We're going to have someone listening to that. We're going to have machines recording it so we can all listen to it later on. Oh, you were having phone sex with someone? Oh, we're going to know all about that. It's going to be like a joke at the office. What is wrong with this idea? Everything. This is bullshit. This is complete and just total fucking bullshit right here. The fact that they think that they can just listen, see who we're talking to, whatever we want to talk to them, wherever they are, they feel a need to be like, oh, well, we can, we can see what you're, who you're talking to. Oh, you have someone you're talking to in, in, in Libya? Oh, we're going to know now. No. Dude. Stop, stop invading my privacy. Stop trying to invade my privacy. Stop, stop trying to, stop trying to put your little ear at my door and trying to listen to what's going on in there. Okay? Stop doing that. It's not cool, man. It's just not cool. But you know, the, the thing is, I mean, my God, we've seen this happen from Microsoft, and now we're seeing it happen from the freaking MSA. Microsoft with the Connect and that patent they tried to see so they could tell who's looking at what. And now we've got the NSA pretty much letting them know who we were talking to and how many times we were talking to them and where they were. Okay, look, I understand that that some people are going to be like, well, they're just doing that to keep the country safe. I mean, what if someone's calling someone in Afghanistan? Well, you know what? That's their own fucking, that's their own freaking business. I'm sorry, but I live in the land of the free, the United States of freaking America. I am allowed a certain amount of rights and freedoms and privileges that extend to me and anyone living in this country. And guess what one of those rights is? The ability to call someone on my freaking phone and without the government knowing who I'm freaking talking to. Am I talking to someone? Am I talking to someone that may or may not have the best interests of this country? Maybe, maybe not, but you know what? That's my freaking business. And just because a few people might be using their phones to talk to other people halfway across the world, maybe sharing stuff, you know what? It's messed up, yes, but not everyone should be punished for it. Not everyone should have to be subjected to Big Brother treatment and the Thought Police just because a few people are doing it. That is messed up. That is taking away one of our freedoms just for more security. Does that sound like a good idea to you? Do you want the government coming in and just listening to your conversations? You're having a personal conversation with someone, they're just going to be like listening on their own. Like, 
You want something like that? You really want something like that? Because I can tell you right now, if this does not get the reaction it needs, people getting just pissed the hell off, people crying out for it to be taken down right now and never to happen again, the government's going to think they can keep doing more and more and more, and you're not going to do anything about it until finally they're going to just be, they're, they're going to be all the way in your freaking room, and you're not going to be able to get them out. You're like, dude, get down. They're like, no, I like it in here. I think I'm going to stay in here forever. And it's like, no, get out. That's what's going to happen. Do you want that to happen? Do you want the government to take away more and more freedoms just so they can protect you better? Because I guarantee you, that is what's going to happen if you do not fight against this. This is that one little step into the room, that one tiny little step that you can catch them on right away. But if you, keep, but if you let them get away with this, if you let them carry this, uh, this little thing out all the way until June or July, then guess what? They're going to think they can get away with more. The fact that this was top secret and it wasn't even up to us whatsoever to know about shows just how little they think of us. They think they can do whatever the fuck they want and we can't do anything about it. Well, guess what, assholes? This is a fucking democracy. We, you work for us. The webcam's all messed up. Anyways, you work for us. We are the people, we are the ones who make this country what it is. This is a fucking democracy. This isn't fucking China. This isn't a fucking communist regime or anything. This is a fucking democracy, people. And you know what? We have the power, all of us. You don't like this? Write your congressman. I'm planning to email my congressman to find out who I'm supposed to talk to about this stuff because I don't want to see this happen. I don't want the government knowing who I'm talking to. And I certainly don't want them getting even more rights to do more stuff w with my phone, knowing who, what I'm talking about. I don't want them to know what I'm saying to the hooker down the street. Uh, that was just an example, or was it? <laughs> but seriously, people, write to your congressman. Spread this message around. Spread this article around. Spread this video around if you want. Don't let this happen. Oh, God. Mm. Okay. It's funny. When you don't cuss for weeks, it, it all just comes boiling out. <laughs> okay. I'm done now. Just spread this message around. Spread this article around that I've left in the description. Do whatever it needs. Let people know about this. Write to your congressman. Write to people in politics. Do whatever you need to do so this doesn't continue. And Obama, what the hell, man? This happened under your administration. You didn't do nothing about it. I thought you were for us. What the fuck, man? Okay, I'm done cussing for a while. Okay. Have a, have a great afternoon, guys. I'm going to go relax now.